The topic we're covering today is what might be the singular most important question you can ask for professional success. What do I mean by professional success? Success personally, success of your organization, success of those who report into you, all of the above. Uh, the question is crucial, whether you're a CEO who needs to help the organization uh, through really challenging market dynamics, whether you're a CRO who wants to mobilize a team to find the next 150 million this year, a CTO, somebody further below who wants to be in one of those roles someday. It is a valuable, incredibly valuable question. Why? For three reasons. First, this answer, the answer to the question is core to unlocking higher performance. Secondly, because it gets used in so many different ways and scenarios and with many people. So it doesn't get asked once to one person in one scenario. It has great breadth of usage. Thirdly, thirdly, it works like a compass in that it helps you take the fastest path, most direct path, and avoid unnecessary fr friction. It helps you reduce a waste of investment and time and energy that you don't need to take. I'm going to give you the question. I'm going to give you the question. Uh, stick around though, because I'm going to give. We're going to discuss the three reasons why this is very simple question is so powerful and I'm going to give you two follow-up questions and a challenge because I want you to do something very practical with this. First, the question, it's this, simple. What is most important to you at this point in your career? You might be thinking, really, is that it? Yes, let me explain why, okay? This question gets to core motivation, what's driving somebody right now what they need what they want now when the work someone is doing the business that they're in or that they're running the people they're working with provide them with what is most important to them they will flourish they will thrive and they will go above and beyond happily giving 110 percent. in other words they will be naturally on the path to highest performance when it's the opposite when what somebody wants and needs isn't being given to them, they will give less than 100%. In fact, they're likely to operate in ways where they try to get what they want, which is oftentimes you know, like at odds with the business sometimes or with their team. It may slow things down, cause friction, distract from what needs to happen. And if you can't give them what they want, it's unlikely that you're going to get high performers to stay with you right? All high performance comes from high effort. High effort is fueled by high motivation, and you're motivated when you have or you see the path to achieving or maintaining what is most important to you at this point in your career. Second reason why this question is so, so, so valuable, because it gets asked again and again, and in so many different scenarios. So, what is most important to you at this point in your career is different than what it might be six months ago or six months from now, depending on have you achieved some of the things that were important to you? Um, are there changing dynamics in your personal life or in your professional life? It changes over time. So you ask this question repeatedly and you ask this question to many different people. You ask it to yourself so that you are completely clear on what will, what will maintain your energy, what will make you completely amped about your work. Uh, you ask it to yourself because if you're not feeling satisfied with your work, you might not be clear on what's most important to you and therefore how you create the path to get that which will be most satisfying. And forget satisfying, we want you to be above satisfied to fully energized, and you need to activate these things. Ask this question yourself. You ask this question to your direct reports because when you know the answer, you know how to invest in them, how to get more out of them. And if you can't provide what's most important to them, you have a problem waiting to happen that you need to start thinking about how to solve now. You ask this question to every single candidate you interview. What's most important to you at this point in your career? If what's most important to them is not something that you or your organization can confidently provide, you should not hire them, even if they can crush the role, if they have all the skills and experience that you need. Because 
of what we mentioned earlier. If they're great at the role, they have all the ability, but they don't have the motivation, you're going to have an issue long-term. Separately, if you can explain to them after you ask that question to a candidate, how you can provide that which is most important to them, you've likely sold an amazing candidate on the role and on the company in very meaningful ways that other companies or managers aren't and increased your likelihood of securing them in your business. So now you can see that this gets used with yourself, with direct reports, with candidates, and the list goes on. Now, how does this, aside from motivating, being a core motivator for higher performance, create higher performance? It creates also higher performance because it helps you avoid unnecessary friction. It helps you remove risk from difficult decisions and make those decisions better, smarter, faster. So as your organization evolves, and you're going to shift ownership and responsibilities, maybe you acquire a company or you wanna promote people, whatever it is, you have decisions to make about how your business or your team that you manage, whatever it is, is going to be organized, it will evolve. And you can do that based upon purely what's best for the company and, purely, and, and just speculating about how it will be received by those that are involved. Or if you know the answer to this question, you will know what's most important to the different players that will be impacted. You will know how the changes will be received. There is less speculation, less risk, less, well, let's think about this or that, faster path to make the decisions. How will you avoid friction? One point of friction, let's look at this. Loss of great talent. I've seen some of the very best leave an organization purely because their leadership team or their direct manager thought they were motivated by X and it was actually Y, which another company came along and provided. Like how many execs believe a salesperson and salespeople are coin operated? In other words, they, making money is what's most important to them. Upside, commission checks, et cetera. Bad move. Sure, money is important. There is something fundamental that salespeople love about achieving uh, that, that win with a commission check, but the very best salespeople aren't so base in their needs, right? There are many reasons why they're in sales outside of just money. We see this all over, not just in sales, but execs throw money at a problem. Is this person a flight risk? Let's give them more money. And if that fails, you know, what, what do you do then? And it often fails because money is not the issue. Other times, execs don't have money to throw at a problem. It may be a scenario where your growth isn't where you want to be. Um, you're in a turnaround environment. The market dynamics have, have given you a hard year and you can't promote and invest in people. You don't have the funds in the way you'd like to. However, you have other options. There may be far more important things or equally important things that you can give to your organization or your direct reports. You get the picture, right? This one question so incredibly powerful and useful, you have to have the answer. Now, there's two follow-up questions I promised. So the, the, the core question is, what's most important to you at this point in your career? The second question is, can you list those answers in order of importance? Why? There's rarely only one answer, right? X is most important. Y is most important. No, uh, we are multifaceted individuals. There are a number of things that are important to us at any one time, and it's good to know in what order and how to activate those needs. But the second follow-up question is why? So when you say what's most important to you at this point in your career and you get an answer or answers, it's valuable to understand why that's important to somebody. Again, don't make the assumption. You will learn so much more about somebody's motivators. And it might be that that thing, that the why is actually the core motivator. What's most important for me to get promoted? Why? Well because I want, to feel, I want to feel appreciated by the organization, or I want to have more um, impact and uh, more responsibility per view or whatever it is. And the promotion is not what's most important, it's the why behind it, right? So you've got the most singular, most important question, two follow-up questions. Here's the challenge. One, take 10 minutes today, do not hesitate. You're watching this video now, pause it at the end or whatever, and write out the answer to this question and the follow-up questions. What is most important to you at this point in your career? How might you order those answers? Why is it most important, right? 
Do not let this day end without answering such an important question for yourself. All right, second challenge. Within this next week, I want you to ask this question to every single one of your direct reports. Do not let this next seven days pass without asking this question to every one of them. If you do, you're procrastinating on a crucial managerial move and you're doing a disservice to them. That's my word, all right? Thirdly, make asking this question standard in all recruiting and make it a standard that the hiring manager must be able to illustrate credibly how the organization or the role can directly provide those things most important to every candidate. And if you do that, you're going to lock in such great talent in so many ways. If you do these three things with this one mighty question, you're going to see so much value for your organization at large, for yourself, more energized employees, faster, more effective, more secure decisions, higher performance at large. Got it? Trust me on this. As always, if this video was helpful to you, like it, share it with somebody you think needs to see it or, or would find it helpful. Comment briefly on what was most insightful about it. Better, come back and comment challenge completed if you're the kind of rock star exec who has put all this into effect, uh, those three challenges. If you do, I'll give you an executive coaching session on the house. How's that? With that, be well, enjoy the rest of your week. I wish you the best in all that you're doing to achieve high performance and be the most effective executives you can be.